The mission of the Voice of the Martyrs is to glorify God by serving His persecuted church as we seek to fulfill the words of Hebrews 13.3. Remember the prisoners as if chained with them, those who are mistreated, since you yourselves are in the body also. How do we serve the persecuted church? By encouraging and equipping persecuted Christians to carry out the Great Commission in areas of the world that are restrictive or hostile to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Much of the work that we do is coming alongside people who may not have had a, a lot of contact with the outside church, and so we want to connect them with the body of Christ that's right here in North America. We are very thankful to VOM and the Bible Society and the Christian people coming to our country, and we are sure God will never forget us. We live here as refugees coming from Mosul and Baghdad, but we have not lost our hope in God. We are really in need of these materials. Empowering Christians to evangelize and love their persecutors and those who are opposed to the gospel in their part of the world. Uh, through this uh, conference, we can understand that God is there in the midst of all our persecution to comfort us and to sustain us and uh, uh, guide us to lead us uh, from suffering to glory. The persecution will come, but God will help us. And we don't have to hate them. We must show them love. Providing practical and spiritual support to the families of Christian martyrs. And we want to be able to work with the church uh, in countries where they're persecuted for their faith so that they can continue to be salt and light in their communities, the communities that God has placed them in. They face difficult challenges, they face hardships, but when they know that our brothers, their brothers and sisters around the world are standing with them, supporting them, praying for them, equipping them, they're empowered and they are encouraged and you see the gospel continue to go forward. They took all my property and my goods and put fuel on them, and then they burned it up. Everything. It was a really hard time, and we lost everything. We didn't even have anything to feed our children. I felt bad, but God helped me bear it. This happened because we are Christians. I really appreciate these people from far away. I thank God for them for helping my family. I feel very happy they helped us. Assisting Christians in rebuilding their lives and godly influence in countries where they have suffered anti-Christian oppression. My appreciation is inexhaustible because after my husband's death, it looked like we had no hope anymore. But now we see that there are people who think about us, pray for us from all over the world, and when we see you come, it gives us hope, gives us courage that God is still with us. We are very grateful. Promoting the fellowship of all believers by informing Canada and the world of the faith and courage of persecuted Christians, thereby inspiring a deeper level of commitment to Christ and involvement in His Great Commission. One of the things that we want to do at Voice of the Martyrs is to be a bridge between the church in Canada and the persecuted church around the world. There's so much that we can learn as Canadians from the faith that they're enduring in very difficult situations and also for our suffering brothers and sisters and that they know there are people in other parts of the world like Canada that are praying for them and helping them in a practical way and encouraging them to stand strong in their faith in Christ. We are very proud of you because you came to us. All this community saw and they can understand that we're not alone, that we have people with us who have come a long way. We're very happy and thank you very much for visiting us. To find out how you can stand with your persecuted brothers and sisters in Christ around the world, visit the Voice of the Martyrs Canada website at persecution.net or call our office at 888-298-6423.